You? Is anybody? There she is. That's Molly Goldberg, folks. A woman with a place in every heart. And a finger in every pie. And now the makers of new does. That new kind of soap for everything right down your wash line. Bring you another visit with those good folks, the Goldbergs. Darling, you've brought home the wrong kind of soap. Oh, one soap's as good as another. Well, if that isn't just like a husband. Look, when I say I want does, I want does. What's so special about this does? Plenty. It's a brand new kind of granulated soap, and it does everything. What do you mean, everything? Why, all three kinds of wash. Work shirts, towels, to rayon slips. You know, it's lucky for you there is a does. Lucky for me? I'll say. Just take your work shirts. Don't you know you get them streaked with grease at that munitions factory? Well, gee, honey, but I... But does handles them like a charm. I don't have any hard scrubbing to do. Well, I've never used a soap that gets them clean easier than does. Well, all right, so does get some clean. And there's my white pieces. You know, you leave the towels just black with that factory dirt when you clean up. But I can't help no, getting... No, but you can help me by remembering to get does. You want me to have really white washes, don't you? Well, of course. Well, as long as I use does, I'm sure there's not a whiter line of clothes in the neighborhood than mine. If you only knew how good it makes me feel to see my linens and towels come out so sparkling white. Now listen, honey, I... that's I've... not all. Does is safer for my rayon slips and, and all the nice colored things I wash. You can't expect me to know that. Well, you know we have to make such clothes last in wartime. And with does, those precious colors stay bright longer. In fact, the storekeeper said does is better for colors than any of the four other leading granulated soaps. Okay, darling, you win. I'll bring you Does next time, so help me. Remember, friends, Does is Procter & Gamble's new soap discovery. So change to Does, D-U-Z. Better get the giant size box and save money. Even in the toughest wartime wash, Does does everything. And now the Goldbergs. When Molly was faced with an immediate problem, she found a quick, warm-hearted solution. And her gesture is turning into a boomerang filled with trouble. There were any number of mothers working in the defense factories, so Molly decided to take care of their children during the day. And Jake finally got himself to the point of just grumbling about it. But suddenly, a certain Mrs. Corey, a woman of means and large interests in community welfare, descended on Molly and told her that this amateur nursery school was out of question and should be stopped. It was a question for the authorities, surveys, board meetings, and so on. But Molly's heart is with the children, not with the surveys. And so this next morning, we're waiting to see what happens. Listen. Ma. Please, Rosalie, don't mind me. All morning, you're mind me. Stop mind me, Rosalie. Please, you wake up the whole house. Uh, are you going to call for the children this morning, Ma? I am. Hey, after what Mrs. Corey said? The mothers are expecting me. Papa won't let you go, Ma. He said Papa so. Papa don't understand. Papa don't understand. Mr. Collins, Homer Collins, will be here with his horses and his wagon. And the mothers are all waiting on the doorstep for me with the children. Why is Mrs. Corey objecting? Why? Why is she objecting? What is the object of her objecting? What? What's the matter, Rosalie? What's the matter? What am I? What, what, what is her objecting? What is the object of her objecting? What? My house is clean. My, my house is not clean. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gentle. What, 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 what am I? The, 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 the three bad wolves I am? What, what, what am I? What am I? What, what is her objection? You have to be... I have to be what? What do I have to be to watch a few children for a few hours? What do I have to be? What do I have to be? Do I have to be more than a citizen? Do I have to be more than a patriotic human being of an individual that sees her duty and she wishes to do the same? What do I have to be? I see children playing in the road and the mothers have to go to the defense plants. And I'm taking children into my house, which is clean, to a woman which I am, which is gentle. But, but, but what, what do I have to be? What do I have to be? What kind of discipline do I have to have? What? What do I have to be? A doctor, a lawyer, a professor? I have to have a diploma of an H2O? My children have to be supervised by a... A what? A... Morning. Oh. 
Good morning, Good morning David, Uncle dear. David. Good morning, David, darling. Why so early, David? What are you going to do, Molly? What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do, I'm going to do as per usual. Mrs. Corey is a big woman, Molly. I'm not so small, neither. Jake, Jake wouldn't let you go, Molly. The mothers are waiting. Molly, maybe there is a law. What law? What law, Rodley? Give Uncle David his hot water to swallow in a cup. What law, David? What law, David? I, I don't know. I don't know neither. If you listen to me, Ma, There's you'll... nothing to listen, Rosalie. Rosalie, there's nothing to listen. Nothing to listen at all, only to my conscience. Only to my conscience is listening. You saw the newspaper. You saw the last and very news about the man that wrote the article about Mrs. Goldberg, a soldier. Yes, He mine. said a soldier. He said what Mrs. Goldberg did without surveys and without committees and without meetings. You heard what he said about Mrs. About Mrs. Goldberg, what she did in the community? Yes, my You heard it. Right that says not. But... All right. All right, Rosalie. Not until I'll hear from somebody other than Mrs. Corey, I'm going to do what I have to do and what I've made up my mind to do and climax. No, all right, all right. Climax. That's all. Climax. Climax. That's all, Rosalie. You heard David say climax? All That'd right, be climax. All That's right. all. Climax, no. I'll take also a glass of hot water to swallow. David. David, darling. You brought up your solid the doctor with what? A diploma? No. A doctor certificate? No. With a license? <laughs> no. With a heart? Yes. With love? Yes. Well, that's my certificate also. And that's my diploma also, and that's my license. You brought up your own children, Ma, but it's different supervising and having responsibility for so many children, Ma. That's all Mrs. Corey said. She called me ignorant. She didn't mean it that way, Ma. Ignorant, she called me, David. I ignorant, she called you. Ignorant without qualification, she Not called me. Without qualification. Incompetent and irrelevant, she called me. You hide her, Rosalie. Mm -hmm. You hide her. Oi, oh, man. This is Mr. Collins. You who to him, tell him I'm coming. You are not coming or you are not going. Jake, please. You are not going. Sit down, Jake. Sit down gently and tell Molly why not. Molly hasn't got the qualifications, that's why. I haven't got the qualifications. Mm. Tell, tell Mr. Collins to come in. I haven't got the qualifications. I haven't got... Mrs. Corey has the qualifications and I haven't got the qualifications. Tell Mr. Collins to come in. I want to know from him how many children Mrs. Corey had in her life, how many children she raised in her life that gives her the qualifications of such a qualifications. That's all. Ma. I, I don't want to hear another ma, ma. ma. I don't want to hear it. Oh, That's ma. all. Tell Mr. Collins how wish him. Qualifications, David. Mm, ma. All right, Two golden ma. children that I have. My Rosalind, my family, don't give all me qualifications. Right, ma. All right, all right. Close the door, there's a draft. The telephone? Don't answer. Why not? Because I'm not saying yes to the mothers and I'm not saying no to the mothers. They're worried because I'm not there already. Let it ring. Answer the phone. David. Molly. David. Hello? If it's... If Hello? David, if it's that, I it's don't... It's nobody. They hung, evidently. Oh. Yeah, we oh. be late for the children. There'll be no children today, Mr. Collins. Come in, Mr. Collins. Come in, Homer. Something has developed since, since, since last night. Something has developed, Mr. Collins. Please sit down. Give Mr. Collins a chair, Rosalie. Something has developed, Mr. Collins. I, I am not qualified. <laughs> you, you have to be qualified. Qualified? Uh, qualified. I have to be all of a sudden. I have to be qualified. Tell me, Homer. Tell me, Mr. Collins. After all, you have resided in Lestonbury for many more years than I have resided here. Tell me, please. I don't know Mrs. Corey. I only know that she lives in a big house on the hill. That's all I know. Maybe you can tell me. How many children did Mrs. Corey raise? That has nothing to do with the case. I'm asking a question, Jake. Well, it has nothing to do with Mrs. Corey's objection. As part of my interest, may I ask a question? Well, as far as... Besides the point. I only want to know... Uh, one Mrs. Corey ain't never had a family. But she did raise a boy. Yeah. A nephew, Conrad Corey. A nephew. A, a, a nephew is a child. He was a child. Well, well I, I'm only telling you this because your qualifications is in question. Well, tell me, please. Tell me, Homer. I, I, I only want to know. I want to know because my qualifications are disputed. I want to know what gives Mrs. Corey the qualifications which are absent from me. What kind of a nephew is this nephew? Yes. What, what, what kind of a nephew is That's this? That's all I want to know. Classification. 
Well, well, well he, he never done much himself for oh, himself. Uh, never done know? much qualification. Never done anything. Qualification. Well, that's, that's the, <laughs> since he come out of college. Yeah. That's about six or seven years now. Six, seven years. Hmm? And this hey, is qualification. qualification. <laughs> six, seven years never did nothing, David. Qualifications. qualifications. He just waits on her. Oh, waits on her Wait qualifications. <laughs> Qualifications. <laughs> he live in that great big house on the hill. Yeah. Just fetching and running and carrying and fetching. Fetching and carrying, huh? Fetching and carrying. Fetching and carrying, and that's qualifications. And that's qualifications, fetching and carrying. Let it ring, Jake. I, I guess Let it's it... the chillin' call. The... I'm going to go just this one day, Jake, dear, and don't tell me not. And then I'll tell the mother that Mrs. Corey, who raised a nephew that fetches and carries, says that I don't have the qualifications. <laughs> Should I answer? Uh, Hello? Hello? Yes? This is not Mr. Goldberg. Let me. Who? Just a minute. Who is it? M Mrs. Corey. If I am absent. Let me. No, I, I got an idea if I can execute Why it. not? Execute Mr. Corey. With your permission. Here's the telephone and execute her. Yeah, I'll get on the phone. Wait Here. a minute. Take the telephone. Uh, hello, Mrs. Corey. Qualifications. Hello. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Mrs. Goldberg said that if she don't have the qualifications, I should bring the children up to your house. That's right. That don't be the qualification. Well, well, yes, ma'am. Well, That's right. Uh, Miss Corey, yes, That's right, so oh. What you said? She says she's sending someone to your house with qualifications. Ah, just what Molly should expect and just what must be done with the children in the interim isn't settled yet, but... There seems to be a fight brewing between those who want to do something now and those who think there's a lifetime to settle a big, immediate problem. And we know which side Molly is rooting for. You know, I guess a lot of you ladies are having trouble with those halfway soaps for dishes. I mean bar soaps because they don't have real speed, and those tough granulated soaps because they're short on safety for your hands. Well, you can be sure there's nothing halfway about new does, because this new kind of granulated soap has everything you want for dishes, from whirlwind speed to extra gentleness for your hands. Yes, this same does that does everything in your wash goes all the way on dishes, too. Just notice how soft and smooth your hands feel after doing dishes with does. In fact, not one of the four other leading granulated wash day soaps can give your hands this extra gentle care. Yet no soap made gets dishes clean faster or easier than does, and you don't have to do any hard scrubbing to cut even the toughest grease. Just let those busy suds tell you how really different does is. Try it today. Does has everything for dishes. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Tomorrow, Molly prepares to defend her beliefs. This is Clayton Collier wishing you good day for Procter & Gamble, makers of Does, the new kind of granulated soap for all three kinds of wash.